small but useful. Lucky the worm. Lucky the worm, small but useful. Author Veronica Podesta, illustrator Monica Pirazzi Matri, concept and layout Tanya De Brito. Hello! Lucky strolls a bit distractedly around the garden. She moves forward very slowly, she retracts her body, and then stretches it just like an accordion, and she leaves behind a thin thread of water. Suddenly, she hears a flower crying. Why are you so sad? I used to be the prettiest flower in the garden, but I am fading away. My petals are falling and no one admires me anymore, the flower tells her. <coughs> Lucky is an expert gardener. She analyzes the soil in the flower pot. Hmm, the soil is very hard. That's why your roots can't nourish you properly. I can help you. Will you let me in your house? And without waiting for an answer, Lucky goes underground. She works without rest, digging tunnels and mazes of underground paths so that water and air can reach every corner of the pot. She also prepares hummus, the ideal food for plants and flowers. Days go by and the flower is once again the most beautiful one in the garden. Mission accomplished! Lucky says before saying goodbye, thanks, you are my best friend. Come back soon. Oh no! When she reaches the surface, a bug with plenty of legs looks at her in a threatening way. It's a centipede, the worm's worst enemy. <coughs> Lucky buries herself again. The centipede goes after her, almost stepping on her tail. She speeds up and gets into the maze. He'll never find me. I am the only one who knows the way out, she thinks. However, the thin thread of water she leaves behind gives her away. She has a better idea. She moves forward like an accordion towards a narrow tunnel where the centipede, who is bigger and fatter than she is, gets stuck like a sausage in a hot dog. <coughs> wow, that was close, says a relieved Lucky. She reaches the surface very cautiously this time. I don't want another surprise. But instead, it's a wonderful surprise. It's raining outside for the worms that is a gift from heaven. There she is, rolling in the wet soil, filling the droplets over her body, when suddenly, something catches her attention. A handsome worm is slowly crawling like an accordion towards her. It's Flexi, the expert gardener from the yard next door. They look at each other closely, they feel butterflies in their stomachs. It's love at first sight. Flexi, who isn't shy at all, whispers in her ear, would you like to build the prettiest garden in the world with me and live there forever? <laughs> and that's how, cheek to cheek, they set off in search of a home to share. This is the right place, says Flexi. Lucky looks at him with a strange face. It's dry and sad. But what's the problem with that? They can turn it into a paradise. They work without rest, digging tunnels and getting the land ready so that trees and flowers can grow. Now it's about time to enlarge the family. One, two, three, ten little worms peep into the paradise. How many paths to explore? How many labyrinths where to play hide and seek? In the most beautiful garden in the world, the flowers, trees, the wind, and sun celebrate the arrival of new friends who move slowly. They shrink and stretch just like an accordion leaving ten tracks of water as they go, just like their mum and dad. The end.